Hey friends, welcome back to Andy's Crap. My mantra here recently has been, I waste money so you don't have to. I'm trying to end that, and this amp did. So this amp is, is actually really, really good. I liked it a lot. It's not really, oh, oh what is it? What is it? Of course, uh, it's the Fluence PA-10. Came in this box, uh, it's a brown box. Not really, like, I don't know, not really high-end uh, marketing. Uh, they could have actually put it in a better box and not sent me this brochure on other Fluant stuff because, well, the box wasn't impressive and this being in there, it's kind of a turnoff for me. I'm like, you know, put some effort into it. Come on now, guys, right? Uh, it came with the user manual, power cord, the box itself. That's about it. The amp itself sounds absolutely excellent. I love it. Uh, Although I love it, I'm going to say it's uh, actually like number four in the line of preamps that I've listened to so far. I'll probably make a video, summary video, of why I choose each of the amps and what order I'd rank them in. But uh, for now, we're not going to go over that in this video. What we are going to go over is opening it so that we can compare it to the other amps that I've opened in the other videos. And if and me calling these amps is going to trigger you. I, I apologize uh, in advance. So uh, this is very plain Jane. It's always on. That is one thing that just really turns me off about this particular model. Like the Fosse Audio, you can turn it off. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember if the little bear actually turns off or on. Uh, most of the others that I reviewed do. Now, when I say I've reviewed, um, you know, I don't know. I, I'd say a dozen preamps i'm including uh so this external preamp these internal preamps in these older units here i really like the way they sound generally they're usually very warm and if you can find one that's working and most of the time they are working but uh yeah i've been striking out here recently on those again i waste money so you don't have to go look at my other videos you'll see where i've bought a couple of them that just completely were not cool uh, in, in particular, a Sony. New Sony. Brand new Sony. All right. Let's go into breaking this thing down because the other videos we have broke down the other ones. So we're going to take a look inside. While I'm breaking it down, I will describe how you can win this. All you need to do is guess which uh, amplifier is playing. At the end of the video, I'm going to run uh, three audio snips and one of those will be the pile p9999 which i will label i'll tell you which one is the pi uh, the pile and then i'll play either this one this one this one or this one or that one or that one but i'll let you know which one is number one and which one is number two and you have to tell me is number one or two the fluence Pretty easy. And then to have a valid entry, you have to have done that on all three videos and have the right answer on all three videos. Now, so far, there's not very many entries, which is cool because that makes it pretty easy to win. Now, I'm not going to end the competition until uh, January 31st, and I'm planning on promoting it once I've got this video up. So we'll see if I can get a couple more dozen entries. Not a big channel right now. Kind of enjoying that because I don't have a lot of trolls. It's just kind of nice. One of my other channels, <clears throat> I got a lot of trolls. And it was just really, really annoying. Yes. The automotive community is just a joy. Okay. Almost there. Now on the um, build quality, let's talk about that for just a second. Uh, pretty good. This is, I can't decide. I think this is, if it's metal, it's aluminum because it's pretty light and it has kind of a plasticky feel to it. The box is wood and it is just, um, let's say this is not real veneer, of course. Um, it's not what we would expect. Um, it does have shielding on it, which is cool. All right, so we won't be able to actually get in, get in, because the shielding is soldered down. 
All right, from this vantage point, I can't even tell you what's in here. Uh, there are some really husky looking pieces and that's about all I can tell you. I can't tell you how many um, ICs, integrated circuits are in there. Uh, yeah, 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 well we can from the bottom actually. There's an integrated, no, no, that's a switch. Um, let's see what's right there. Nope, okay, there might not be any integrated circuits in here. Gosh, that's really hard to tell. Put in the comments if you can decipher, I can't see one that's really obvious. That was, that's what an integrated circuit would look like, but it would have eight legs. This is just a switch. So this dude might just be all transistors and see there's a transistor right there likely. Yeah, there is one hidden in there. There's three, three, three. Yeah, there's two transistors right here and here. All right, not much to see. It looks like mostly, and it's some beefy stuff going on in there. So they're, <laughs> they, they stuck hardcore old and true which is cool. I like that a lot. I would much prefer that than uh, cheaping out and buying, or not buying, but like putting a bunch of bull crap uh, in there that's there for looks. I'm really tempted, actually, while I'm putting this together, I'm really tempted to get that little bear out and hook it up. And while it's playing, disconnect the tubes because I don't even, I could not see, like on the the um, <clears throat> audio Fosse, Fosse audio, sorry, uh, I could I could actually see, I could follow the circuitry and see where the tubes uh, were connected. But on the little bear, I really couldn't. But I hate to waste all of that time to find out that in fact it, it is using them. And then if it, they, it isn't using them, then what do I do? Create a video that says, hey, this thing is not really what it appears to be. And then, yeah. And then I end up with a bunch of trolls and got that whole chestnut going again. All right. Pretty simple construction. Nothing really uh, ex you know, exotic or... Actually, this is pretty much... Honestly, you know what? I'm I'm really going to be interested to see if there is a sound between this and this. Because the construction in this with all those big husky pieces that you saw in there is very similar to what would be in here. And I'm not going to open that. By the way, this is an MCS, um, also known as Modular Component Systems. It was sold by J.C. Penney's, but usually, typically, they were a contracted out version. Like they they would contract with somebody like Pioneer or Techniques. Well, which would be what would that be? Not Sanyo. Gosh dang it! Who was Techniques owned by? Anyways, put it in the comments if you know you know what I'm talking about. Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. All right, connecting it. We want the input over here, the output over here, our ground line going right here, and I just use alligator clips because it's very convenient, and then the input. On the back, there's a 20 uh, hertz, kilohertz uh, signal filter. God knows why you would need that filter. Um, I don't think... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think records can go that high. Um, maybe they can, can they? Or maybe that's just a filter. Maybe they're anticipating that that's kind of like your scratch filter. Like on this MCS, there actually is a filter called scratch. And I was playing with it before I started filming. This is the first time I've set this one up. And it actually kind of works, It, it but it, but it chops off a lot of that upper range because that's how it operates, right? You're just basically cutting off the range where most of those uh, surface scratches and clicks and all of that good stuff, the pops, that's where all most of that's gonna happen if it's um, surface noise. The big pops, the big scratches are, you know, they're not, they're not up there. But anyways, you get the point, I digress. 
the end of the review is basically I recommend this it is a decent amp if you're already a Fluence fan then this will do really well for you it opens up a lot of doors because honestly it just makes things sound better opens up uh, you know what amps you can use you don't have to have a phono only amp all right the video takes of or the audio takes of the uh, record plays are going to come up here in just a second the uh, rules are in the description let's see here what else do i have to tell you i'm going to cut out right at the end of this i'm not even going to have like a summary at the end so when we're done listening just tell me in the in the notes what you think it which, which one you think it was and uh, we'll be all happy and, and good look at the other three videos if you haven't already thanks for watching like and subscribe have a great day